Last season was a fantastic season for Luton Town, one that will go down in history. However, a certain man made a big difference when he came into the club, and that was Rob Edwards. In today's video, we're going to pick out five things which we've learned about Rob Edwards since he took over as the manager from Nathan Jones. I'm really excited to do this type of video for you guys. If you do enjoy it, please drop a like on the video. And the more likes we get on these videos, the better the video does. It reaches out to a much wider audience. Also, drop a comment down below if you think he's done more than five things. I've just picked out five things. If I've missed something, let me know um, in the comment section which you think is the five most important things which you've noticed from Rob ever since he's been the manager. And also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe as well. It is free to do so. So, what's the first thing which we've learned about Rob Edwards? Now, compare the style of play between Nathan Jones and himself. A defensive midfielder has made a massive difference. Rob Edwards' style of play, he likes having a central defensive midfielder. And what did he do? He brought in Nakamba. And that made a massive difference to our system because Nakamba, the defensive midfielder, was able to sit in front of the centre-backs to protect them, to allow other players around that defensive midfielder to go forward and cause more problems and be a lot more creativity down the width and also through the middle as well. And that's the, you know, I would say the real benefit of having a central defensive midfielder because that player just sits there, it does what he needs to do, it helps the, you know, defend um, the defenders, you know, defenders have a little bit more protection and yeah, it gives other players a little bit more confidence that they can go forward and cause some few problems. So that's the first thing which we've learned about Rob Edwards' style of football. And I would would have thought during the you know the summer transfer window, we will be looking at a defensive midfielder because of how well and how important a defensive midfielder is to Rob Edwards' system. The second thing which we have learned about Rob Edwards' system is the fullbacks. With having a defensive midfielder within the team, it gives our fullbacks a lot of, you know, confidence going forward and freedom to actually go forward to create and join in with the attack. We kind of rely on our fullbacks to put crosses into the box because you don't want our strikers doing that. You don't want Elijah, you don't want Morris being on the wing. You want them both in the box. And it gives the, you know, the opportunity for our fullbacks to get forward, have that creativity, freedom to put crosses into the box to cause problems and for us to try and score, um, whether we're being direct or, you know, playing the ball in the opposition half. So that's the importance of having fullbacks within a Rob Edwards' team and also how pivotal they are in making sure that we create chances and also try and score as many goals as possible. And if you look throughout the season when we had Cody Drame and also Alfie Doggerty, how pivotal were those two players, you know, the amount of chances which they were creating on either side and also the defensive jobs which they were both doing um, throughout the whole of the second half of the season under Edwards. And even when they do go forward, because we play with a back three, um, or three centre halves, the right side of centre half and the left side of centre half kind of also cover um, the you know the width. So then that also helps the you know the central defensive midfielder who sits in front of the main centre back and gives him a little bit more protection as well. Or he can also move into that centre back role if needed if we are pushing forward. The third thing we've learned about Rob Edwards is that he's aggressive style of pressing now the one massive difference between nathan jones and him was the aggressive press now nathan jones he did like to press and you did see it but i'm noticing it a bit different under edwards it's a lot more a lot more players are joining in with the press and we're more in the opposition half we're more winning the ball back i feel like under nathan jones we weren't winning the ball back as much as we should have been doing i feel like teams were breaking through us a lot easier maybe that was because we didn't have a central defensive midfielder at the time i'm not too sure but the aggressive press under nathan jones was kind of non-existent last season compared to what it was under edwards so much of an aggressive press we were so much at it i think we even scored a few goals from being an aggressive press we also created a lot of opportunities as well and in the premier league when aggressive pressing is quite common we're going to have to be on it next year as well so that's another factor which we've learned about rob edwards is how the beneficial of having an aggressive press and how well we do it the fourth thing which we've learned about rob edwards is he's still really good at bringing in players in the one worry I had when Nathan Jones left was, would our recruitment still be the same? Because when Nathan left the first time and we brought Graham Jones in, recruitment just wasn't the same. We signed a lot of players which I just didn't think were good enough. We got the odd one right, like Izzy Brown. 
if he didn't get injured so often. He would have been a good one. James Bree and Carter Vickers. But apart from that, all the other players which we brought in, they didn't really have an impact towards the team. Um, and I had a few question marks a lot more when we brought those types of players in. But then we got even better in our recruitment. Nathan came back and our recruitment was just really good. Under Nathan, it was fantastic, our recruitment. I have no issues at all. So that was my real like worry. But Nate, um, but Rob Edwards proved in January that we can still recruit really well under him. He can still find really good players. You look at the players he brought in. Cody was fantastic as the right back. McCamber, wow, what a, probably the best loan signing we've made. And also Taylor. Like Although he didn't have as much of an impact as Cody and McCamber did, he still had a role to play he still came on in the playoff final and scored that penalty and he could have actually scored the winner if it weren't for the handball rule so you know even he had an impact and he could potentially be one for the future so already we looked at those three players and we can understand that you know edwards has a good eye for a player and um, although the recruitment team do help with that and yeah i have a lot of positives that we can still recruit really well and he's proved that Within one window, he can still recruit really well. And the final thing which we've learned about Rob Edwards is his ability to improve players and make them better. You look at Gabe Osho, you look at Amari Bell, you even look at Petty, for example. I think consistently in the first half of the season, they were up and down. They weren't consistently performing at a good rate. But Gabe Osho has been performing so well under Edwards. Amari Bell at left side of centre half, you know, probably one of the underrated players, despite me not really liking him. I still think he's done a fantastic job and I think he improved massively under Edwards. Pelly became a lot more consistent, which was good to see. I felt like we were getting the old Pelly Ruddit, which was great. And even though he was still doing the odd goal in the first half of the season, I like to think Morris got better under Edwards as well. So you look at that already players are improving consistently um within the squad and that's exactly what you want and next season when we're in the premier league we need these players to consistently perform um as well we need them to up a level as well and i do think rob evers has proved that he can do that which is really good um trait to have so there you have it guys that is the end of the video those are the five things which i think we've learned about rob edwards since he's been the manager of luton town you could talk about him how well he comes across in you know media interviews and stuff like that but i didn't really want to mention that as the top five i felt the top five was the ones which i mentioned if we was just to recap quickly having the importance of having a cdm the recruitment at Luton, the you know the impact of our fullbacks, the aggressive press, and also the ability to improve players through a season. So yeah, those are the top five for me. Let me know your top five down below, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.